Hi besties, thanks for joining me today for a watercolor tutorial. We're going to be doing this cake here and it's got a stand, it's yellow and it's a greenish blue color with some blue accents up here on top. It's also got some little tiny flags that you can choose what they say so you can put like little words in there, um, maybe a date or some type of design if you want to like give, give this to someone as a like, card. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so let's talk art supplies. Okay, so first off, you'll need a small and medium fine tipped round brush. You'll also need 140 pound 300G watercolor paper. I use the Canson XL, it's very inexpensive and I love it. You also need a black technical pen just to do some lines on top of the paper. You'll also need a uniball gel pen that I've put down there, the one that I use, or you can use just any old pen that's white that goes on top of watercolor paper. You'll need a glass of water, a mixing palette, a pencil, a paper towel, and an eraser. Those are just the typical items you'll need for any watercolor project. For this project, I do recommend that you use professional grade watercolors, but if you don't have any, use what you have on hand now so that you can get started in learning how to do this watercolor. I used my White Knight St. Petersburg watercolor paint set. I used the bright blue, the turquoise blue, the cadmium yellow lemon, and the cadmium yellow medium. So this is the step-by-step. -step. You can get that at tamiancreative.com. So we're gonna add in that cadmium yellow medium in those sections and we're going to add in the bright blue and then we're going to do bright blue and the turquoise blue in the next section and then we're going to be adding in some additional lemon yellow on top of the cadmium yellow and doing the base and that type we're also going to do some bright blue down here on the base and we're gonna add in some white gel pen to finish it off. We're also gonna add in some little pen, black pen there, just to give it some little doodads. So go to TammyOnCreative.com to get your cake downloaded if you haven't already. It's free. So let's get your paints onto your palette. So I'm putting down here the cadmium yellow medium. It's the darker version of the yellow. I'm gonna paint both the upper cake and the lower cake, just the, the insides, not the topping, just the insides. And I'm using my smaller brush, and I'm going into all the little squiggly parts. And we're just doing one layer of this pretty cadmium yellow medium. Go at your own pace. Feel free to stop the video, forward it faster, or go back and forth, slow it down. Do this at your own pace. Watercolor takes a while and we all paint at a different pace. So I'm trying to keep everything fresh so it doesn't get too dry but also get into those little spots. And that's why you want this brush that has a very fine tip. So you can get right in there and go along with the lines. Just little squigglies. This is a bright festive cake. I've created these three little flags at the top. You can decide how to use those. Maybe you're going to put little words in there, maybe put the word win if you're going to be giving this as a card or a, something like that. You can do it as like a celebration. Maybe someone's won the 5K or something like that.
Let's also paint in the three little flags. They're gonna be done in the same cadmium yellow medium color. I'm getting them really sharp. I'm just filling them in. They're just these cute little flags. Next up, I'm going to paint the base of the bigger cake, doing the same thing that I did to the upper portion, just going along with all the little squigglies. Getting it really sharp down there on the base section where the plate is. It's a nice juicy paint, nice and dark. I just love doing these little squigglies. Now it's time to paint the little donut base down at the bottom. So I'm just going in with the little rounded section. I'm using that same brush, just getting right into the little crooks. I'm just giving it one layer of this juicy yellow 
That's the cadmium yellow medium. We're just doing all of that cake and the base here all in that color. So we've got that yellow going all the way from the top all the way to the bottom, keeping the eye going from top to bottom. Clean off your brush, and now we're going to get some of that beautiful bright blue. We're going to do just a little bit of the top area up there, the little lines. It's like a gold post. I love this color, this bright blue. So I'm using the tiny brush for this. You can do little straight lines and make it really fine, or you can go wider. It's all your choice. I'm going with a little wider line, and then later on I'm going to bring in a little bit of white gel pen and go right down the center. So it's actually gonna look like two different lines. Clean off all your brushes and we're going to let this dry. And then once everything is dry, we're gonna come back on top and do more layers. Time to get a drink, a snack. And if you feel like you can use a hair dryer, but only use the hair dryer once things have started drying just a little bit more because you don't want any water to end up all over your piece. You want to make sure that the water is dry enough that the water is not going to blow around. Please pause here. I'm back and my piece is all dry. I'm ready to do some layers on top. And the layers that touch those areas that were already wet. So now we're going to be adding in some turquoise blue. So get that on your palette. And we're going to be doing all the topping in that turquoise blue. So it's juicy. It's got just a little bit of water. And I'm using my little water bottle actually to do some little extra drops of water. I don't want this to be too dark at first. So we're doing the topping on both layers. And I'm being careful, I'm using that small brush to go in and around the yellow. If you find that you're on top of the yellow, just keep going and then you're gonna do an additional layer on top and you're gonna make it 
look like it's it's no yellow is going to be showing through. So just do the best you can at coming in right next to the yellow. This will help you learn precision. Let's do the lower part just as we did the upper part.
add in additional color and layers as needed. Clean your brush and get out some more of that beautiful bright blue. And we're just gonna do some little tiny lines here up at the top where those flags are. So there's like a little line that attaches them all. Think of it as a string. Once you're done with that, clean off your brush and we're gonna let everything dry well. You can use a hair dryer if you need, but as always, make sure your paint is not soaking wet. You don't want any water pools blowing all over your piece. So please pause here and then resume when your piece is all dry. Okay, mine's all dry and it's now time to mix up some more of that beautiful bright blue. We're gonna be doing the cake stand. We're gonna be using quite a bit of that bright blue so I'm adding more to my palette. And then I'm gonna add some water in so it's nice and juicy. And we have a nice pretty bright blue. I'm just adding in some additional water, getting it all going there. So we're gonna do the full cake stand section that's still white. I'm using that small brush and going in slowly right along the lines. Take your time. Going in with these very fine lines can be hard if you're new to watercolor. Using a smaller brush helps with doing these little circles. I'm just moving the water into them. So I'm sort of wetting it and then moving the other water into there. So it all merges together and you get those little scallops. I'm just trying to smooth the water out I'm just working from one side to the other and going back and forth.
Okay, I'm gonna use that same bright blue and do the base. The base of the base. Going in with those sharp lines. Okay, clean off your brush. We're going to start adding some of that beautiful lemon yellow to your palette. That's the bright yellow. And we're gonna actually gonna use that on top of the medium yellow, cadmium medium yellow. This is gonna give some highlights on top. So it's gonna give some brightness, but it's also got an opacity to it. So you can see a little bit of the darker yellow just below. That works really well together. So we're gonna get that nice and juicy and we're gonna start going in on the top part and we're just doing in the center where you think the light is going to hit it the most. So we're not doing all the yellow in, we're just doing the centers giving it that little glossy look in the middle. I'm also gonna do that to the little flags above, just a little bit of that yellow. We're gonna do the larger part of the cake as well as the stand. So anywhere where we've got the base yellow, we're gonna add this lemon yellow to the middles. going in lightly with that small brush. It might look like it's taking on a little bit of a green tinge. That's not a problem. You're not really gonna see any green. And if you have a mistake where you hit some of the, the blue-green up above, that turquoise blue, just use a paper towel to mop things up. Okay, let's head for the stand now. We're gonna do the same thing, just putting that lemon yellow right into the center sections. Once done, let everything dry. Get your snack and drink if you need, and pause the video now. I'll be here when you get back. I'm done, it's all dry, and now it's time to add in some decorations, some highlights, and some little black lines. So I'm using the Signa Ball Pen here. It's a gel pen. It's a white gel pen. And I'm just making some little lines. Some where like little, little pieces of light would be coming in. Where I think it should just be white instead of having that, that color behind. Up here I'm just putting some little lines in. So we're getting two posts instead of one post. Now 
I'm adding in some little glossy parts where the light is hitting the topping. So it makes it look glossy. Think of nail polish, it's sort of like that. You know how when you look down at your nail polish, you get these little white spots. And that's where the sun is hitting it the most directly. So I'm gonna do that to both sides of the cake, both the top and the bottom topping. Once we're done here, we're going to start decorating the base. I'm going to do one solid line all the way across the base, right above where the little shells are. The scallops, I guess they're called. And now I'm gonna put some little tiny dots and give a little line way down at the bottom, bottom base. So you can see that the sun is hitting that area as well. So doing these little dots just makes it look really cute, I think. It could be like their little cutouts or they could just be like little dots. It's all up to your imagination and anyone who sees it. They could see it as little dots or they might actually see it as cutouts. Now we're gonna use that black technical pen and we're just gonna add in some lines. So I'm doing these little tiny ones at the top and some little circles. My circles aren't perfectly the same, so I'm trying to get them to be more like the same shape and same size. I'm using that very fine Faber-Castell pit pen. It has a very fine tip. Now I'm gonna do the base as well. Just give it some lines, give it some definition. And now we're done. Thanks so much for joining me today. Please click that notification bell, the like button, and leave me a comment about what you thought about this cake, what you would like to do later, and anything that you think that I should know. It's great knowing you, and come back soon for more tutorials, coloring, and all that.